Hello, my name is Cal Wadrowski and this is Shelly. And in this lesson, we are going to teach the gentleman's double outside turn. And the last few lessons we did fall into the category of intermediate for reasons I've mentioned before. And that's because we have to change up the footwork and we have to apply some of the things that we taught in lessons 16, 17, and 18. Well, the same thing applies for these next few lessons where we're going to teach a little bit more advanced gentlemen's turns. These again I call intermediate because the lady has to change her footwork and the gentleman's doing a little bit more than just a single turn. So this particular lesson again is going to be the gentleman's double outside turn. Shelly, let's go ahead and show that. We're going to show the gentleman's double outside turn with a basic first and we'll show it from two angles. Ready and one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Very good. Let's go ahead and turn over here, Shelly. And one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Very good. For the gentleman's double outside turn, the signal is going to be the same as it is for a gentleman's outside turn. You simply, on the three, four, or I'm sorry, on the five, six, when you're coming this way on the five, six, you're going to bring your arm this way, gentlemen. That kind of lets the lady know something's up, and typically she'll kind of know that maybe she's not turning. And you're just going to keep your arm up until you do the two complete turns. We're not going to break down the lady's footwork for this because the lady's footwork for this was covered in lesson 18 A and B. So the lady just needs to be remembering to take the extra three fours. Um, gentlemen, your footwork for this, obviously, you can, you can always practice. If you want to do double outside turns, you can practice the footwork a little bit on your own. Remember some of the things that we talked about before. Don't take real large steps when you're turning. You're going to turn around most of the way in two beats. So for a double outside turn, you're going to get almost all the way around twice in four beats. So it's going to be a, a one, two, three, four, and you're going to be almost all the way around the second time. And then you're going to do, finish it off with another three, four. So gentlemen, if you want to practice the footwork for this, you can just do it like this on your own. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Again, a lot of this was covered in those prior lessons. So we're just going to go ahead and show that again. Actually, if you want to go ahead and follow along, I think it would make sense. We're going to do it from two different angles. But if you want to follow along, I'm going to do a basic first. I'm going to bring the arm towards me, and I'm going to turn twice. So let's go ahead and do that. Ready and one, two, three, four, signal. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Very good. We're going to go ahead and turn and do it from over here. I'm going to do a basic again first if you want to follow along. Ready and one, two, three, four, signal. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. this lesson on the gentleman's double outside turn, there are a few things, four of them actually, that I believe that are important and worth mentioning. First of all, you can decide if you want to do the gentleman's outside turn, double outside turn, inside turn, and double inside turn, and so forth. A lot of gentlemen don't seem to turn much, and I don't know why, and it doesn't really matter why. It's really a matter of personal preference. I think in some cases, gentlemen may have never really been taught to turn. In other cases, they maybe would just rather not do much more turning than they have to. I don't know. But there are a couple benefits, and I'd like to just quickly mention them. 
One benefit is it simply adds variety. It adds a little bit more to your repertoire, so to speak, without trying to remember a complicated move or a complicated pattern. And many women that you'll be dancing with potentially, or if you're dancing with a spouse or girlfriend, they'll often enjoy having a little bit more variety as well. So these are pretty simple things to do without having to uh, remember a whole lot. Another benefit, in addition to it simply being more variety or adding more variety, is that it gives you alternatives when you're dancing with a woman who is either not comfortable with or would rather not do a whole lot of turning. So if you're dancing with somebody who for whatever reason is, e is not able or capable or doesn't want to do a lot of turning, well then you either slow the dance down and just do more basic footwork, which is fine and dandy if that's what you want to do. But if you want to learn to do more turns yourself as a gentleman, then you're again step keeping things stepped up a notch without putting the pressure on the lady to have to try to keep up with doing a whole bunch of fancy stuff. So. Uh, there are times, that a number of women that I've danced with over the years that for one reason or another, I just know them and I know that they don't do real well doing one turn after another. So I can turn them, I can do a little turn myself and do something else with them and do some turns myself. And again, it adds that variety and gives me some options. Now the second thing that I want to mention is that because a lot of gentlemen don't seem to turn, I may have mentioned this when we taught the gentleman's outside turn, but gentlemen, when you're signaling one, two, three, four, on the five, six, you bring your arm this way to go under it to do a regular outside turn. It's not real unusual for you to bring your arm this way, which should tell the lady something's up, but she's not necessarily turning. It's not unusual for you to go to start stepping and have the lady start to turn with you. It happens. Nothing you can really do about it. No big deal. You just kind of go with it. So uh, just be aware of that. The third thing is that if you're doing the move that we're teaching in this lesson, the gentleman's double outside turn, as I talked quite a bit in lesson 18A, and I address this is lesson 18A covers this information real well for gentlemen as well as the ladies. In order for a gentleman or the lady to do multiple turns, the other person has to take those extra steps in that direction to keep up with them while they're turning. And if you do a gentleman's double outside turn with somebody that you haven't done the lesson with and with, with somebody who's not familiar with the gentleman's double outside turn, it's very common for them to do their normal footwork, which from the lady's standpoint it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, while you're continuing to go in that direction. So very, I think it's important for you to be aware of that. You're not going to simply be able to go just do double or multiple gentlemen's turns in either direction and have the lady automatically do it unless she's actually taken and watched these lessons or unless you know that she's done that a lot. Even seasoned dancers, and again I might have mentioned this somewhere along the way, but there are actually quite a few seasoned dancers that have been dancing for years and they're very awesome at this dance but because gentlemen often don't take multiple turns, it's not unusual to dance with a lady and then you start taking multiple turns and she doesn't know to go with you. So again, just something to be aware of. And then the fourth thing that I wanted to mention is that the concept of changing the footwork to allow for these multiple turns is something that you can consider showing a lady right on the dance floor while you're dancing during a song if she's open to the idea. I've done this a lot over the years and I do believe it's important to treat women with respect and be courteous and polite and all that and so I surely try to never do things that are going to embarrass anyone and so but this is what I've done a lot over the years so if for some reason you're dancing with somebody who does not know how to change their footwork to allow you as a gentleman to either do a double outside turn or this will apply to go in the other direction on the inside turns. This is how I handle it and it tends to work very well. And as I do this, I do it in a way where if there are people in the place either dancing or on the sidelines hanging out, some of them watching, for the most part they're not even going to know that I'm showing her this. Because as the music is playing, I will sometimes ask the lady, would you care to learn something just a little bit different? 
they'll almost always, with tremendous excitement, say, sure. And then I'll explain to them, well, as you know, when you're doing the basic footwork, it's normally going one, two, three, four, five, six. I got my hand on their shoulder blade. My left hand is holding their right hand. And then I'll explain, when, if, if I as a gentleman do just a regular outside turn, you just do that normal six count pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just do that first and then I'll show you the new thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're on the same page. Then I'll explain to them, if I'm going to do two outside turns, you're going to need to take a couple extra steps to your right. And then what I'll do is, while I'm pushing gently with the palm of my hand, I'll explain to them. I'm going to help you, I'm going to show you here. And it's going to go like this. It's going to go one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. And they'll almost always take those extra steps. Now you do want to be aware that from the woman's standpoint, as she is used to going one, two, three, four, five, She's normally getting ready to go back in this direction, so you want to watch as you're pushing her that it doesn't go one, two, three, four, and, and she's going back this way and you're pushing to her right. So you want to be a little bit gentle about it. Sometimes it'll take twice. So again, I would go one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. And I'd be aware that she might feel a little bit off balance because she may not know what's coming. And then I'll go, let me just do that again. One, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. I go, very good, that's it. If you can do that while I turn multiple turns, then you'll be keeping up with me. Let's just try one more time here. And one, two, three, four, three, four, five, six. Do so you want to try that? She'll usually be positive and optimistic about the idea. I'll say, okay, here we go. I'm going to turn. Just take the extra three fours. And, and I don't normally count out loud as I'm turning, but I'll normally do the two turns. And more often than not, she will take those extra steps. As a matter of fact, as a gentleman, if you like the idea of even possibly doing three turns occasionally, you can even explain to her that as a matter of fact, if the gentleman kept turning, the idea would be just to keep going one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, until he's done turning. And if you do that once with her, and then if you were to take several outside turns, one, two, three, four, three, four, three, four, five, six, she'll almost always automatically just go with the flow with that. So again, FYI, if you like the idea of doing multiple turns, it's something you can show the lady right on the dance floor. And if you're uh, polite and courteous about it, more often than not, they're open to the idea of learning something and you can kind of show them. And again, like I say, for the most part, people that might be paying a little bit of attention that are on the sidelines, aren't really even gonna necessarily know that you're showing her something new. So I will, as I'm explaining, I will be counting as I'm kind of nudging her along, but then when I'm doing the turns, I'm not counting out loud. She'll kind of figure that part out. So anyway, I felt that those things were a little bit uh, important if you're going to try to do these gentlemen's turns. Okay, well that is the gentleman's double outside turn. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. And I do encourage you, I haven't said this for a while, but I do encourage you to try to practice things along the way. If you don't have a dance partner, there's a lot of this stuff, whether you're a gentleman or lady, there's a lot of stuff that you can practice on your own because if you just watch a whole bunch of lessons and then think you're gonna go out and do it, it's gonna be a lot harder if you're not practicing along the way. So I'd encourage you to do that and uh, we sure appreciate you watching and we will see you in the next lesson.